this particular annual meetings, we expect upward of up to 4,000 participants at the meetings. Now, I would like to go over in terms of the date and the venue of the meeting. From the 27th to the 31st of May this year, the 59th session of the Board of Governors of the Bank and the 50th session of the Board of Governors of the Fund will be held jointly at the Kenya Kenyatta International Convention Center in Nairobi, Kenya. Kenya was selected by the Board of Governors to host the 2024 annual meetings following its expression of interest to do so and after a determination by an evaluation mission from the bank that the country has the capacity to host the meetings. You may want to know what are the objectives of the annual meetings. The annual meetings are primarily a statutory event of the bank group. During the meetings, the boards of governors, as the heads, decision-making and oversight organs of the bank and the fund, will review the annual report on the finances, operations, and other activities of the bank and the fund during the preceding financial year. The governors will then adopt resolutions on key decisions and conclusions of the annual meetings. There will also be a governor's dialogue, which will provide a platform for governors to interact and engage with the president of the bank group and senior management on issues of strategic significance to the continent and the bank. The proposed theme of the governor's dialogue is mobilizing the private sector to accelerate Africa's transformation. Given that this edition of the governor's dialogue will take place at a critical juncture when the continent continues to face a set of interlocking crises, the dialogue among various other areas will reflect on the bank group's new 10-year strategy that is aimed at accelerating Africa's transformation, explore ways in which the bank and other multilateral development banks could respond optimally to the call on them to work better together to significantly scale up resources for the sustainable development of the continent, and focus on the bank's role in mobilizing the private sector in the work of multilateral development banks within the context of the multilateral development bank's evolution for the purpose of accelerating Africa's development. One notable thing about the 2024 annual meetings is that the African Development Bank turns 60 this year, which is a very significant milestone. As you may be aware, the agreement establishing the African Development Bank was signed by member states on 4 August 1963 in Khartoum, Sudan, and the agreement came into force on the 10th of September 1964. While commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the bank will be year long, it will commence with a short event on day three of the annual meetings under the theme, the African Development Bank, 60 years of making a difference. Other events whose details will be announced to the public in due course are planned across the continent in the course of the year, culminating in the actual anniversary date. You may want to find out what a theme of the annual meetings this year is. The theme for the annual meetings this year is Africa's transformation, the African Development Bank and the reform of the global financial architecture. And this theme is set against the realization that despite a sustained economic growth over two decades, Africa's economic transformation remains quite incomplete. In addition to the statutory dimension of the annual meetings that I have just highlighted, the bank will organize a series of knowledge events under the both theme that I have indicated. The knowledge events will therefore explore how best to fast track structural transformation across the continent. The events will also address the importance of a reconfigured global financial architecture as an engine for structural transformation. And of course, the chief economist and vice president Rama will elaborate on the knowledge events in the course of the press briefing. Let me turn to giving you highlights of the annual meetings program. For now, I'd like to take you through the program of the annual meetings with a specific focus on the statutory aspects. The detailed program is available on the annual meetings website. I need to emphasize that all the statutory events will be closed to the public because it's business time for shareholders. 
On day one, three of the statutory organs of the Boards of Governors, namely the Bureau, the Joint Steering Committee, and the Steering Committee on the Election of the President will meet to discuss various items on the agenda. The Governor's Dialogue will be hold, held on day two in two sessions, with the first session planned for the period 9 to 12, and the second session from 2.15 to 5.15 in the evening. The formal opening ceremony of the annual meetings will be held from uh, will be held on day three from 10 to 11. And of course, the opening ceremony is open to the public. Also on day three, the first sittings of the Board of Governors will be held from 15.30 to 18.30. During this particular session, the Board of Governors will review and as appropriate approve recommendations from the various subsidiary organs and adopt relevant resolutions. The second sitting of the Board of Governors will be held on day five, which is from 11 to 1 p.m., during which the official communique and the official records of the bank will be considered and adopted by governors. Of course, the, that session will be followed by the closing ceremony, which will hold soon after from 1.30 to about 2.30, where there will be a ceremonial handover of the chairperson's position, chairperson of the Board of Governors position to the next chairperson. Let me also highlight that as part of the annual meetings, there will be a series of side events on the sidelines of the annual meetings to support the major programs that are going on, in which civil society and a number of private organizations, as well as public organizations, will be holding some meetings. In addition to the statutory meetings that he has discussed, will also feature several knowledge events, that is, structured around the theme of the annual meetings, Africa's Transformation, Africa's development, African Development Bank Group, and the reform of the global financial architecture. Uh, we're going to have four separate knowledge events that will be featured during the annual meetings. The first one will be the presidential dialogue, which will bring heads of states and government to have a focused dialogue on the theme of the annual meetings considering how Africa has fared in its transformation, the role of the African Development Bank in enhancing and fast-tracking that trans transformation, and what roles the, the emerging reforms in the global financial architecture could play in accelerating Africa's transformation. Then second, we will have a high-level event that will be on the launch of the African Economic Outlook Report 2024, the annual report that shapes the compass of Africa's development that is produced by the African Development Bank annually. This year's theme for the African Economic Outlook Report will be Africa's transformation, the reform of the global financial architecture. Again, focusing on how Africa's transformation has fared, what have been the key drivers of this transformation, and what role the a global financial architecture plays in that transformation of the African continent. In addition to this high-level knowledge event, we will feature two thematic events that are focusing on selected themes that, based on our research, are key to Africa's transformation. And one of them is financing Africa's transformation in a changing Financial, global financial system. In all our research, you find that financing has always remained one of the major constraints of accelerated transformation on the continent. So this particular knowledge event will bring global experts in the financial system to be able to look at how to finance Africa's transformation in the changing global financial system. Then the second thematic event will be driving it home to look at the role of Africa's natural resources and economic productivity in Africa. So that event will be on the team measuring the green wealth of nations, national capital, and economic productivity in Africa. 
So here we're going to be seeing how Africa's natural resources could actually help drive that transformation on the continent even better than it has in the preceding years over the decades that we have seen. And then, of course, there will be other events marking the, 20, uh, the, the, the 60th anniversary of the African Development Bank Group, as already clearly uh, uh, described by the uh, Secretary General of the Bank Group. Mm -hmm.